Hello, boys and... Hello, boys and girls. I've got a new series for you. Starting right now. Part one. Let's, uh, let's call it... What are we going to call it? I'm going to call it a... It's going to be a budget build, for budget sure. Build, yeah. Budget build. It's an 06 Impreza 2.5. No STI, no WRX, nothing. Just your basic 2.5 Impreza, 5-speed, five, five yeah, it is a 5-speed yeah, five five speed manual. 5-speed manual, and we're going to use it for ice racing first, then uh, come uh, springtime, we're going to try, and we're going to go to uh, autocross. Yeah. This is Luke, you know me, actually you don't, you don't know my name, my name is Robert, or Rob, whatever, and we are starting today, we actually already started a little bit, and I you know, figured might as well make a series out of it. So this is it. We got some damage. I will show you that later. You can see this, this was smashed in. We, uh, we think the uh, driver was trying to avoid an animal because we do have some um, skin underneath the subframe in front uh, that rubbed off. And uh, this whole front, I don't know, maybe a tree, some kind of Bush, bush or something, there's scratches on this side of the vehicle, you can see them uh, kind of over here. And this, the control arm took a hit, so you can see this wheel is, it's pretty much touching the body over here. It took some paint off, so the lower control arm needs to be replaced, inner tie rod, outer tie rod, sway bar link, maybe something else, don't know. Uh, yet still waiting on the control arm yeah oh yeah obviously tire we do have a set of uh, rims and tires with spikes already yeah. made yes which uh, Lucas did him himself we're gonna see them later on I'm sure other than the accident this car is pretty solid it's got 52,000 miles on it 54 54,000 miles on it uh, it's kind of smelly inside you got a spare light uh, yeah no well a few dents here and there nothing serious we may actually take this fender off and uh, try and fix those or you know get it close to fixing this side was not hit the uh, this car went to a body shop uh, before it got here they uh, this was this was basically right about here we so they oh you do okay we're go I'm gonna throw in some original pictures this was bought off of uh, Copart, yeah, Copart auction for fourteen hundred. Uh, I think total was like eighteen or something. Eighteen. Oh, eighteen uh, hundred plus uh, transport, which was what five hundred. Was Texas? Where was it from? Uh, PA. Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, we got some fixing to do, and we're not going for the looks. We need a bumper. We got a. We got a hood. This hood is from the 06 WRX wagon? No, it's a just wagon. Okay, some, some wagon, not sure. It has it's some damage. 06 wagon. Yeah. 06 wagon. Um, got some damage on the hood. We don't care. This thing is going to get beat on. So what we're doing now, we are working, uh, we're removing rust. Avoiding uh, rusting it more. We got some cleaning up to do. We kind of, this was bent. We kind of fixed that. Well, <laughs> not really, but we're gonna paint over it. We do have some parts, damaged parts. We may uh, figure out how to fix those damaged parts. Remember, this is a budget build. We're not spending any unnecessary money. Just so it drives. Uh, obviously, we gotta register it so we can drive to the events. We're not gonna use a trailer. So no trailer. So that's uh, an extra cost out the door. We're going to be driving to the events, uh, mostly Wisconsin for ice racing, and then uh, around the area here in Illinois for autocrossing. But that's, that's you know, months ahead. All right, let's get cracking.
right, update. Why white? Because that's what we had. All right, so we're gonna continue with this heck job. Be back later. Took the driver's side fender off just to compare. You see this line is pretty much straight. And uh, this one's not. We do have an 07 STI catback, which is and his. Performance first, right? Performance, yes. Okay, I gotta figure out how to attack this fender. This is pretty light. I'm gonna have brute force. Brute force, okay, no. Let's see. Maybe not address it at all, just leave it. Probably make it worse. I don't know what I'm doing. on the crease. Okay, we're gonna put the hood on to see if we're even lined up the fender to the hood. I'm sure we're not. After a short struggle, well, we don't know how this fender is gonna line up because we don't have one, but the hood actually closed, so that's good news. So this is closed hood, the fender is not attached yet, but even if it was, this is now closed, which is not pretty. So we need to, we're going to have to do something about this. This is better, we're going to have to paint this and we need to uh, raise this part of the fender up still, so it lines up somewhat. Took this wheel well off. This fender is already rusting on the inside, I'll show you that later. Uh, you know, your usual Subaru, Honda, Japanese cancer. So now we're gonna lay out all the parts that we have that were actually came with the car, they're damaged or not, inside. I'm gonna see what we need and uh, start the hunt for them. Okay, scratch the plan to, well, actually I can show you. This wheel well is garbage. This is the airbox, that's, we don't need that. This wheel well from the passenger side it's destroyed. We could, I mean, we could probably use it, but we'll see. Maybe we'll find a new one or a used one. This is what's left of the light. I'm sure we're going to use this harness. We need a we need a bracket, the mounting bracket for the light, for the headlights. So we're thinking we're going to drill these out here. These are spot welded right here. One, two, three, four spots. Because we got two of these, both are damaged. So we're gonna use this one, straighten out this part here. Because as you can see on this light, this is straight. This is not. I'm gonna keep this, straighten this out because it's easier. Get rid of this. And Lucas is working on this one. And on uh, this one, we're gonna keep this and weld them back together. So we can have a somewhat straight headlight bracket. Got some miscellaneous parts for the grill. This is for the bumper. Uh, drive or yeah, driver's side grill, center 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 side center grill. Do we have a right side grill? No, we don't. The uh, airbox for the filter is also broken. Now. I should explain, we're trying to get into the uh, street stock 
or just stuck group? Was it what is it called? Just stuck S for uh, for our crossing. It's just it's the lowest lowest group and it's called stuck stuck group. So we're gonna have a, a number and a S on the car while racing. So everything needs to be original. Uh, what we can do, uh, we can do a catback. Cat yeah, we can do a catback. We can drop one end. Sway bar. We, we can drop. Uh, just, one. just one. Okay, so we can either lose or upgrade uh, either the front sway bar or the rear sway bar. We're most likely gonna remove the front one, right? No. No, we're not. I don't know. We'll see. No weight reduction is allowed. What about tires? Just winter tires or any, anything? So I guess it's up to the club. Uh, so I guess we're gonna, we're, we are going to be running 15 inch uh, rims with just snow, some snow tires. Yeah, so we're, gonna, we're, we're probably going to be uh, running for spikes and, and or snow tires. We're, we see. Punches are here. So yeah, so basically keeping it stuck. You can always go bump it up a group and then I'll show you a list uh, later on when it happens uh, what we can do, what you can do to the car to uh, go up a group. But we're starting from the lowest possible. And they only allow, like I said, uh, catback exhaust, not even intake, nothing. No, no uh, uh, modification. Drop, drop oh, drop an air filter, that's it. So the, the, the only power modifications are drop an air filter, which we're probably not going to do. And the STI catback, we are gonna do because we already have it. Yeah, just to make it louder. <laughs> and these headers are equal length headers, so it's not, it's not gonna be that rumble, boxer rumble uh, noise that we all love. It's gonna be more of a uh, Evo noise, kind of a inline four uh, kind of a noise. Okay, so we're gonna work on that uh, headlight bracket and after that we're probably gonna call it a day uh, it is Sunday after all now some parts I'm getting uh, like the uh, sway bar link the inner and outer tie rod I already got it from AutoZone which is cheap and they got lifetime warranty labor for us is free obviously so this is what I got over here the parts in question and they do not carry any control arms for this vehicle well they do but it's three hundred and thirty dollars which is which we're, we're not we're just not going to do that it is a budget build after all uh we found out about a guy um he's in lockport illinois we're gonna go there or maybe look at him on his own uh he buys used or banged up subarus whatever he's got i don't know but it's, it's mainly subarus legacies uh Impreza's, stis and uh, foresters and uh, he's got some spare parts already i spoke with him uh, yesterday and he's got two control arms from a wrx 06 wagon which may be different not sure yet but he wants 40 bucks a piece can't go wrong with that if we can make those work we will we'll just replace both and if they're not gonna fit we'll keep you posted if you are doing something like this similar i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you all the costs of the money we spent where more or less we're buying it all the different parts what fits what doesn't what we're doing to the car I already told you about the rules and that's pretty much it you can have fun for cheap i mean you obviously you gotta spend some money you know this is a solid car that's a rule number one you need to get a solid car not something that's falling apart you know i'm talking i'm talking uh, transmission engine wise rear diff and all that we're also going to do maintenance on this and the brakes the brakes are good but they're rusty this car has been sitting i'm guessing maybe a year maybe longer uh because it's got a, it's got this suspicious date right here not sure what the 50 means 7 9, 7 of 19 july 19. so who knows what went on with this thing anyways what i'm gonna do you can see these are rusty but there's plenty of pads and we don't need big brakes for ice racing so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take all of the brakes apart take the rotors out and just basically clean them up that's it these front pads may be new looks like the suspension is going I have the the fish scale going on on this tire over here 
see how it grabs my fingers going up and then it's smooth going down same thing over here tiny bit all right guys if you like what you see and you're interested in what's gonna go on with this subscribe comment maybe you have any ideas maybe you know something that we don't let us know in the comments below and we will see you soon <laughs> okay that's it shut it off